our beginner's look at writing expressions with Lua. And among the topics we'll be covering will be functions and a conditional expression you probably haven't come across. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've merged this green box over this blue background. And what I'm going to do is set up a square wave oscillation. So essentially a square wave is just a sine wave that's been squared off just like this. So to do that, I'm going to come to the merge center and I'm going to modify with expression. Let's come over to the modifiers tab, point out. For the Y, I'm going to enter 0.5. And for the X, I'm going to enter N1. So we can come over to our controls and we can enter an expression for N1. So first of all, I'm going to set this up as a sine oscillation. So I'm going to type sine, open brackets, time, times two, times pi, divided by 12, close brackets. And this is going to oscillate it between negative one and plus one. And that means it's going off the screen at the left hand edge. And we can fix that by adding times 0.5 and plus 0.5. And now it'll only travel between the two edges of the screen like that. But to create our square wave oscillation, we're going to have to do something a little bit different because we want to be able to flick between zero and one with no movement in between. So just for convenience, I'm going to copy this expression, add an expression to number two, paste it in there just so we can store it while we work. So what we're going to do is we're going to type a lower expression here. So we wanted to have a colon to start with. And what we're going to do is we are going to declare a function. So we're going to type the word function and then we are going to call it just for fun, Roger. And then we're going to open brackets and close brackets and then we'll have a semicolon. So what is the function? Well, let's just start with something really simple. Let's say x equals 0.5 semicolon and then let's return x and another semicolon and then let's close the function by typing end semicolon. And now if we were to type return Roger open brackets x close brackets semicolon you can see that the value of the function is being returned. So if that value for x were 0.75 it will return that. So whatever is inside this function is going to get returned when we use it in this form outside the function. So all pretty simple stuff. So obviously our function needs to be a bit more useful than that. And it's going to be a condition, but it's going to be a different sort of conditional to the one you're probably used to. And it's a very efficient form of conditional. So what we're going to type is x is less than zero. So that's the condition. So if this condition is satisfied and negative one or one. So the and part says what's going to happen if the condition is satisfied and the or part is what's going to happen if the condition is not satisfied. And it's a very efficient way of writing conditional because if the condition is false, then the first expression will not be evaluated and only the second expression will be. And that can have performance benefits, obviously not in the case of our very simple example here, but it's good to know. So what we can now do is apply this function to our original sine expression. So after the word end, I'm going to type x equals, and then I'm just gonna copy this bit that we've done here, everything except that times 0.5 plus 0.5. So this bit here, paste it in here and then add a semicolon. And now what's going to happen is that we're flicking between negative one and plus one with nothing in between. So we want to normalize that to zero to one instead. So just before that final semicolon, we're going to type times 0.5 and plus 0.5. And that is now going to go between zero and one. So there you go. We've set up our square wave for oscillation. Now, in actual fact, there's something I haven't told you, which is that this function that I've called Roger is actually available in Fusion's Lua language, and it's called sign. That's not S-I-N, it's S-I-G-N. So instead of doing all this, we can remove this whole function part of it like this, delete all that. And then instead of using Roger, 
we can use sign, S-I-G-N, and you can see the result is exactly the same. So we were actually just replicating that sign function with a function of our own that we called Roger. So just before we go, I should point out that although this method of using a sign SIGN function to modulate an SIN sign function is a fairly commonly found method of approaching doing a square wave, it doesn't actually in Fusion lead to a terribly even result. And there actually is a better way that I'm going to suggest to you, and that's this expression here. Just going to pipe that into there, and it gives the same results, zero to one. You can adjust the frequency. Let's adjust the frequency to 12, maybe. And again, we're using a while loop here to create the cycling between zero and one. And it's it's completely stable, unlike the other version. So that might be useful if that's something that you want to explore. So thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope that was useful. See you again soon.